Ashley Michelle here and welcome back to my YouTube channel where you can find beginner reviews and tutorials and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this popping twist out on my natural 4C type hair so if you want to know how to achieve the perfect twist out for your type 4 natural C type 4 hair then keep on so it is the next morning and I'm actually about to start the twist out process so today I'm going to be using another product from the main choice I'm going to be using the main choice hair type four leaf clover moisturizing styling cream this is for curly wavy kinky and coily hair but it does say that it is specifically for type 4 hair and it does say that it has biotin vitamin D and vitamin E in it as well this styling cream also has clove oil, flaxseed oil, and aloe vera in it. So these are all amazing products that you need in your hair, excuse me, amazing ingredients that you need in your hair to help it stay moisturized and grow. So you guys, the main thing that just drew me to this product, LOL, the main choice, the main thing that drew me to this product was that it said it was specifically for type 4 hair, and I do have type 4 thick curly hair so I really need something that's going to work its magic on my hair so this is my first time actually trying this product out so we're going to see how it performs just looking at it it is a very creamy consistency get a little closer y'all can see so it does have a really thick creamy consistency so I will guess that a little bit of this product is going to go a long way this product is very very thick and creamy um, I really do like how much product is in it just because um, I did spend about $15 on this jar. So I'm glad that the product was filled up to the rim. I know sometimes like I get certain products and it's like the bottle's not even filled up. How are you going to charge me $14.99 and I don't have $14.99 worth of product? Like make it make sense. But I do appreciate that what I have noticed with the main choice products, especially like stuff in their jars it's filled all the way up so i appreciate that we go give two thumbs up for the main choice for filling up their products so i'm gonna smell it real quick y'all already know i have to smell whatever goes into my hair just because i just feel like you know if somebody hugs me greets me walk past me i want my hair to smell just as good as it looks so we're gonna smell it real quick just because i'm curious four leaf clover clover oil mm, never had it before so I, I need to know what this is gonna smell like in my hair I mean it does smell pretty good it has like a sweet smell to it it's different I haven't smelled this smell before but it doesn't like it smells pretty good so we're gonna see we're just gonna get right into it I'm not gonna ramble too much longer and again you guys if you are enjoying this twist out video definitely make sure that you give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment down below and share this with your friends so I already knew that my hair was going to shrink up. So to kind of help my shrinkage, I did kind of stretch my sections into these ponytails. So that way it wouldn't shrink up too much on me, even though we already know you're going to have shrinkage. It's just, it's just what comes with it. It comes with the game of being natural. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the scrunchies off of my sections real quick. I think I'm going to rock my hair in a middle part. I don't know. I kind of was thinking maybe a side part because I haven't really done a side part. I always do a middle part. So you know what? I think I'm going to do a side part just because I always do a middle part. Let's switch it up. So I like to wear my part on my left side. So what I'm going to do is take my red tail comb and I'm just going to make a part on this side before I actually get it to the styling. I'm just going to take the end of my red tail comb and just part. I like my part to be kind of like right here above my eyebrows. So I'm just going to do a straight part just like that. And just look how easy it is to part my hair. You guys, when you do your detangling, it just helps. Like I just can't stress enough how much it helps. So yeah, that's exactly where I want my part. And to clean it up, I'm just going to go in with another rat tail comb. But this is like one of the thicker ones. And I just like to go through it with the comb side. Just to clean it up a little bit. And this is probably going to be the cleanest part. 
out of the whole situation. As long as this part is clean, it really don't matter what the rest of your parts look like, but the part, however way you're styling your hair, that just needs to be at its best. Everything else can be whatever. So yeah, that's where I want my part right there. First section it off. So I'm just gonna take this section, just twist it back up out the way. And my hair is about 80%, mm, it's about 90% dry, I'm not even gonna lie. The back is a little bit, has a little bit wet, more wet spots, but it's mostly dry. But it's really, really soft though. I can say that my hair does feel super duper soft. So I'm just going to make this one section. My parts in the front as even as possible. And I'm gonna try to do good in the back too, just because I'm actually gonna be wearing my hair twisted today. And I'm gonna take my twist out, actually out tomorrow. So, and so in total, this is gonna be like a three day process for me. But the reason why I'm wearing my hair in twist today, just because I'm going to be outside for a good majority of the day. So, I don't know. I just want to give my hair the best chance to be its best, y'all. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to part this section, this front section, in horizontal sections. And work my way up to the top. And just twist each, twist each section. And I think, yeah, I'm going to use the thick one. And I'm just going straight across and just reinforcing the parts with the comb part of my comb. And like I said, they don't have to be perfect, but you just want to make sure that your parts, especially if you're doing like how I'm doing today, actually wearing it in the twist for a day or so. You just want to make sure that their parts are as clean as possible, just so that way, you know, it looks nice and presentable. So my hair does feel nice and soft. It doesn't feel dry. The ends feel pretty good as well. So I'm gonna apply the product. Go try. I don't wanna apply too much just because I don't know how this product is gonna work. So I'm gonna take about that much. Uh, a little bit over, about a quarter size. Not too much product. I always like to rub it in my hands a little bit and I'm just gonna place that on the hair. Rub it, on, rub it on the ends. Like I said, I don't want to apply too much product. And honestly, I think I do need a little bit of water. So I'm going to grab my spray bottle, the one that missed, and I'm just going to do a light mist. I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to drench the hair again, but I, I'm just filling my hair and I just think that it just needs a teeny weeny bit of water. Not too much, but just it needs a little bit of water. My handy dandy spray bottle and I'm just going to lightly just mist the hair a little bit at the roots so i just wanted to put a little bit of water in it not nothing too much Oops. and i'm just making sure that i apply the product running my fingers back through my hair with the product and making sure that we get in it on the ends and I'm taking a little bit of product at a time. I'm not doing too much product. Cause like I said, I do not want to oversaturate it. Don't want to overdo it at all. This seems about like enough product for me. Not too much, but it is activating the curls. So I'm actually going to split this section into two sections right down the middle just like that. Um, the size of your twist is your preference, but for me personally, what I have noticed, since my hair is so thick, I kinda have to do medium, like small, medium-sized twists, just so that way I can get the most out of the definition. So I'm just splitting the section that I'm working on in half again. And I'm making sure that I'm gripping my hair at the root. One thing that I did used to forget was to really just make sure I got the, the root of the hair gripped pretty good. And I'm twisting my hair going away from my face, not towards my face. So I'm twisting going backwards, not forwards. And as I'm twisting each piece of hair over top of each other, I'm also twisting the individual pieces of hair at the same time. So it's not difficult at all, you guys. You just wanna make sure that you are overlapping each piece of hair. And I twist, so I'm twisting this hand backwards 
as I'm wrapping it around the other piece of hair. So you wanna twist this piece of hair backwards and wrap it around that other piece. Twist this one backwards, wrap it around. Twist this one backwards, wrap it around. Twist this hand back, wrap it around. And you guys, that twisting that other piece and wrapping it around, it's kind of like locking the hair in place. I noticed previously when I used to just twist my hair, just wrap the pieces around each other, it wouldn't stay. So twisting that other piece back, kind of flicking that wrist, flicking that wrist back, that is what is actually going to secure your twist in place and hold everything together. And then once you get to the ends, you do want to make sure that you are twisting your finger in circular motion, still going away from the face, so that way those ends can get curled up too. And there you go. There you have your twist. And voila, just like that. And y'all, do y'all see the, the hang time though? Okay, hang time. We see you, we here for, and, that, and that's the thing, look, shrinkage, length, come on now. So again, I'm just gonna take the section that I'm twisting, split it in half into two more sections. You can go horizontal or you can go vertical. Doesn't matter, it's up to you. But I'm just gonna make sure I twist it and that I grab those roots so that way everything is getting in that twist. Twist it back a couple times and then you just wanna make sure you flick that wrist. Flick that wrist on that back piece of hair and just twist it over top of each other. So this is what my twists are looking like. I have completed all of them. And I did go in and kind of make a little bit of them in the front, just a little bit smaller. I just wanna make sure I get as much definition as possible, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a 360 of the entire look. And then we're gonna come back tomorrow and separate and see how we did using all of these products. Again, everything that I am using in this video will be linked down below in the description box as well. it is like the next day it's like five o'clock in the evening um but yeah so it is the next day i did leave my twist in overnight i just had my hair bobby pinned so that way it could stay to the side while i wore it all day yesterday um i almost didn't even want to take my twist out because i was kind of liking i was kind of liking the little side look y'all already know how i feel about my twist so before I actually take everything out, I am going to go back in with the Main Choice Tropical Moringa Restoration Spray. Um, my hair doesn't feel dry or anything, but like, like dry as in like it lacks moisture, but I'm just going to, oops, lightly spray this all over the hair and it smells super duper good. So 
just to give some life back into the hair. It's not saturating the hair, but it's just making it nice and just light. And before I actually take my twist out, I am going to apply some more of that Wild Growth Formula Oil. And I'm just going to put a couple of drops in my hand. Rub that together and just go all through my twist. Just to kind of tame any frizz or anything like that. Not too much oil because we don't want to weigh the hair down, but... just wanna I don't know y'all like I'm feeling my twist I kind of don't even want to take them out but I just want to see how this twist out process came out so so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a scrunchie so that way I know I'm taking out all of them because I am good for that leaving a twist or two in so I'm just gonna grab a scrunchie real I handed in the scrunchie and I'm just going to pull my hair up Oh, that would have been cute. A little ponytail. Y'all about to see my twist a little more often. I'm trying to tell you. So I'm just putting all the twists into a ponytail real quick. So that way I can make sure that while I'm taking them out, they're, I'm getting them all. So I'm just going to start with the back. And when you're taking out your twists, you want to make sure that you're taking them out in the direction that they're in the opposite is this opposite? Just go in the direction that it's allowing you to untwist. Like, don't go against the twist, if that makes sense. So I'm just lightly untwisting my hair to separate it. And just like that. And I'm just pulling them, stretching them down to separate them one more time. Or I don't know, I may. So where I can see that I can separate my hair one more time, I'm doing that as well. Pulling it and stretching it down too. So this one, I think this one is good. I'm not going to separate that one again. But this is what the curls are looking like. So I'm going to grab another one from the other side. And I'm just twisting it basically in the opposite direction. Letting the hair separate on its own. Pulling it down. And then I'm kind of seeing if I can separate it again. And bam, just like that. And you don't have to separate your hair again for the second time. I'm just doing it just so that way I can get a little bit more volume out of my hair. So again, I'm tw basically twisting the hair back in the opposite direction until it allows me to separate it. Pulling, stretching them down. And seeing if I can go in and stretch it out again. And like I said, I'm not separating out all of them. Just a few of them. Not all of them. Back in the opposite direction. And just separating them where they are separating naturally. And I'm just taking like every other one and separating it again. So I can kind of have like a little pattern going on. separating it just like that and since this was a skinny one I'm just gonna let this one pull and drop like that I'm not gonna separate that one again again twisting it in the opposite direction letting the hair naturally separate on its own pulling stretching and going just like that so I got all my twists out <laughs> and I mean the twist out is a twist and like yes ma'am so like I said I didn't take apart all of them just a little bit of them because my hair is gonna get bigger throughout the week anyway so the only thing that i'm gonna do is take a little bit of edge control swoopity swoopity swoop on the side and that is all but yay we did that with the twist out y'all so these products work they work for 4c hair as you all can see the definition is there the definition is popping my hair is juicy and curly and moisturized and I'm just feeling myself, period. But not for real, y'all. Like, this hair is popping. It is the curls for me. 
So yeah, let me go ahead and throw my edge control on and we're gonna wrap this video on up. Also, that is all that I have for this beginner hair tutorial on how to style your natural type 4C hair and get that perfect twist out. I really do hope that you guys really enjoyed this video and learned something new. Do not forget to drop me a comment down below, give this video a thumbs up and also share with your friends so that way we all can be fabulous together. And you guys already know what to do. Stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay safe and stay popping. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.